don't know what size this is. Feels okay. Oh yeah, nice oh, large mouth. Nice largey. Large Look at that one, huh? Nice one. Oh, there you go, baby. You know, when we look for uh, uh, new lakes that we like to explore and up the odds in our favor, no matter if it's largemouth, smallmouth, walleyes, muskies, there's certain things we look for in advance when we're studying the maps. And uh, one of the things that's important, a lot of structure at a lot of different depths. You know, you know big expansive flats that have living space on them uh, before it breaks into deep water. Lots of different depth humps if it has, a, you, know, you know, humps that are shallow, maybe six foot on top. Humps that uh, could be fall or winter, winter spots that are like 12, 15, or 20, or 25, surrounded by 40, 50 feet of water. The more diversity the lake has to offer and the cover that's on, on that structure, the better the lake is going to be. And this holds true for any kind of fish that swims. The thing with springtime fishing is there's a lot of places that don't have fish, period, but there's spots that have a ton of fish. Like we're on right now, I mean, we've caught a pile of fish in, I don't know, three boat lengths of water. So having a bait that you can cover a ton of water with that moves horizontally is absolutely critical because there can be miles of shoreline with nothing, and then there's a little spot that's got a pile of fish. This is such a sweet spot. I got to show you what this, what this looks like here on the bird. You can see this is a big shallow weedy bay with not a lot of features in it except for what we're fishing. Check this out. This is the rock pile that I'm showing here. This is the mega imaging now and you can see how detailed this is. There's a fish actually right there. All weeds, fish sitting on the weed edge and then look at this rock. This is a hard rock line here. It's a big flat rock. Look at this. Boom. Just amazing. And we've got boulders on both sides of us. You can see a few fish tucked in there. So I've run side imaging for years, but now with this mega stuff, what I compare it to is going from watching SD TV to HD TV. Look at the detail in this. All the rocks, all the weeds. I mean, it's just amazing the structure that you can see down there. No wonder there's fish here. Oh, 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 oh. It's just a, a nice fish. Just another nice one. Oh. Yeah. You know, these are those bites <laughs> at so this time sweet. of the year that, that you dream about all winter long. You dream about this condition at this time frame and catching fish like this, cast after cast after cast. We do this every year, not only with largemouth, we look forward to that smallmouth bite too. I look and all I look is at the temperature and I said, it's 53, 54, 55. Jerry, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. They're on, baby. They're on. Oh, I love it.